Hi, I'm Thatch Nguyen, founder of Thatch Real Estate Group. Today, I have the great opportunity to interview Audrey Godwin, and she is the founder of Godwin Group, and she's a CPA, and today, this topic is the hottest topic right now, and I wanna dive in and just talk to her about all the different questions that people have been asking me, and I'd rather interview the expert all right, on this whole thing. So thank you for being here. Well, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So question number one, everyone been asking me is, what can you write off on personal house and then what can you write off on a investment property? Okay, so a personal house, it's really simple. You, could, you have your real estate taxes and you have your mortgage interest on your first and your second. Um, the only other thing that you could write off on your personal is if you do home improvements, you can take the sales tax. Okay. And that's one of those um, write-offs that if the government decides that they don't want to give you that write-off anymore, that one will go away. But I think the real estate taxes and the mortgage interest will stay around for a while. Okay. And then for investment property, everything that you would do for your home, as far as maintenance, insurance, mortgage interest and taxes, you can write off for your investment property because now you've turned this into a business. Right. Passive investment, but you now have things like your homeowners do or your condos do. Um, any advertising you do for tenants, you can write that off if you're doing septic cleaning, any cleaning. So if you end up hiring a lawn maintenance crew, you get to write that off for your rental property. Mm -hmm. If you go and travel to your rental property to check on it regularly, the mileage you have, you can, you can write off. So there's a myriad of things. So literally, if you think of everything you do to maintain your own home, or things you can actually deduct. Is there anything that you cannot write off on an investment property? Well, what you can't write off are things that have a longer life. So for instance, if you replace the roof, you have to depreciate that over 27 and a half years. Right. But if you just patch a portion of the roof, you can write that off as a repair. So really what you look at is if it enhances the value of the home, you have to depreciate that. You can't just write that off. Right, right. Okay, great. Well, that's, you know, I mean, the, I think that's, uh, you know, everybody has been, you know, interesting on just that simple question like that, you mm -hmm. know. And um, I think for today, you know what I mean, if uh, you ain't taking advantage of writing off all your uh, depreciation and all the different taxes for your rental property, I mean, right. you know, uh, I, I think it's uh, uh, people are just losing money on that every day. Absolutely. And it's money you spend anyway. So it's not that you're, you're going over and above. It's money you're going to spend to maintain the property. You might as well make sure you're getting a tax write off. For That's it. awesome. I appreciate that. Okay, great. So you guys. If you have any other question on this subject, you know how to get a hold of me, thatchrealestategroup.com. Other than that, remember you guys, always keep it real, dream big, and serve unconditionally. See you soon.